Can the 4440 do 35 feet? <laughs> Surprisingly well, honestly. <laughs> uh, anyway, how's she going today, guys? Well, we're, uh, I'm cleaning the yard out a little bit because I've got a semi coming for canola a month earlier than what I thought they were going to come for it, so, which uh, isn't really a bad thing. So We're uh, just getting everything moved out of the yard anyway and lined up here. And, uh, well, we had to hook the uh, 44 up anyways to the elevator to move it, so we figured we may as well try it and see what she thinks of her. <laughs> and, you know, it pulled it better than I thought it was going to, in all honesty, so... <laughs> Anyway, we're going to keep moving stuff, so I'll talk to you again here in a little bit. Anyway, so I just jacked that up. Because you uh, pull the pins out so the wheels come off the ground and it sits on that big square frame when you're uh, using it. So I just got it jacked back up and we put the pins back in. And now we are uh, gonna bring it over and I'm gonna tuck it in behind the bin so the wind can't fuck with it and blow the big tall bastard over, so. <laughs> Having a bit of a predicament trying to get it in here, I wanted to back it in so that it was right behind the bins here. But that uh, frame on the back of it there, there's only like, three inches of clearance at the most, so as soon as he started trying to back up to get over this little rise, it was uh, pushing the frame into the ground. So we're gonna just drive her straight in and see if that works out or not. Think it's gonna work? <laughs> I know that's all dirty there. The uh, I need a new gasket for the uh, cap on it is what that's about. There have been a few people asking about this thing. And it's... Uh, Grandpa Henry's, little Thomas, got a four-cylinder Wisconsin in it. And uh, I brought it over last year to do some, uh, clean up some of the chicken poop around the uh, quan there, my little barn there. And uh, we ended up doing some work to it that it needed done and then uh, Winter time came, so he didn't really need it, so I just kind of spent the winter here, so. We, uh, I remembered what we forgot to do to it once we parked it where it's gonna stay, but we forgot to clean the uh, bottom of it out. There's about two five gallon pails full worth of uh, shitty wheat in the bottom of it, so we're just gonna shovel that out into the bucket, so. And that's what we're up to right now. So. Why we're not, you're not seeing the 5010 do anything here lately is uh, the 50 year old rubber that seals up the, uh, or the uh, shaft slides to engage the Bendix at the solenoid uh, dried out 
and we were having issues with it in the shop and then we thought we fixed it and that rubber got out of its place and pinched in between so it couldn't engage and I went to start it here the other day and it was doing the same thing again so we're gonna have to uh, pull his starter off and put in a new rubber so that's why you haven't seen him doing anything here lately so hopefully I've got a chance to get that new rubber and put it on there before it misses its chance to go do some disking but if it misses out it misses out it's not the end of the world we'll find something else cool to do with it so <laughs> anyway we're just getting the vac lined up here for uh, this canola and it's trying to rain again it's been little showers on and off all morning so uh, we're gonna get this lined up and then we got a few more things we got to get out of the way and then we should have the yard all organized so I guess well I uh, I just got the call from the trucker that he's uh, half an hour away and then, then since you uh, seen last time there it's rained I bet you'd be pretty close to an inch now everything's uh, full of water all the puddles are full of water the roads wet and uh, yards of mud hole so perfect time for a empty semi to come so <laughs> hopefully he's got good tires on that unit so otherwise the 4020 is gonna have to give him a helping hand I guess with a chain but anyway we'll get him one way or another and uh, I uh, we had a bit of excitement this afternoon there the uh, power went out and as you know there's all the baby chickens and they can't be without heat for very long so we we're kind of scrambling to maybe get the generator set up or trying to get an answer when they knew the power was going to be on and kind of we're in there uh, to keep them from bunching up but of course they uh, piled up in the one corner and uh, killed one of them got trampled underneath of all of them but the uh, power is only out for about an hour and a half maybe at the most and uh, anyway it's back on now so hopefully it stays on because we've got the generator on the uh, back of the service truck and now that it rained and this wet it's going to be interesting to get it uh, well very very close to the barn so anyway one way or another it'll be okay but it's uh power's on now and now we're just going to wait for that semi to show up so i guess we'll uh, talk to you guys here uh, once he shows up dear witchcraft
anyway. That's uh, him loaded up and he was struggling quite a bit there trying to back up the hill. Uh, he uh, didn't do, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Well, he was struggling, I'll just say that. He was really struggling to uh, get figured out what needed to get done and finally I told him, like, just get her underneath of there, drive underneath, drive straight, because he was trying to fucking back up and kept getting stuck and has one of those fancy bumpers on the front of his truck that there's no tow hook on, so you can't even pull on the goddamn truck to help him out. So finally I told him just, Take a run at her here, get half ass underneath of it, and we'll put a pile on the front of the truck. Get some weight on the drives, and you'll actually be able to do something. But an hour later, he finally decided that's how we should do it. He went under there, and yet, lo and behold, once we got some weight on him, he got around where he needed to go, so. Anyway, that is the last of the canola. The bin's empty, so tomorrow we're going to pressure wash the vac off and park it away. Give the 4440 a quick rinse, because he's kind of dirty too. Antoine always gets things dirty. Yep. Fucking guy. we got to shut the lid on the bin yet. <laughs> anyway, so that's all done with, and it's now uh, 7 o'clock. We started this affair at about 5 o'clock when he showed up in the yard, so give you an idea of how things kind of went. So Anyway... He's loaded and gone, and maybe I'll get a bit of money one day now from it when it uh, gets where it's going to down in the U.S. of A. It's going to Velva, North Dakota, so I don't know if any one of you is around there or not, but that's where it's going. So anyway, I'm going to park the 4020 away, and that's going to be it for this evening, so I guess... Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one.